Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. The Thai alphabet is made up of 44 consonants. The letters of the Thai alphabet are grouped into three consonant classes, low, middle, and high. The Thai script has 32 vowels, ga gai. The sound of ga gai as the initial consonant of a syllable is ga. It is very similar to a hard G or an unaspirated K. Just start on the lower left, go up, and make a sharp hook, then come down on the right side. Ka kai as an initial consonant is k, and as a final consonant, it makes a K stop. Let's practice writing ka kai. Start at the head, go down, and then come back up on the right side. Ka kwai. Ka kwai makes the sound k when it's the initial consonant in a syllable. It sounds like the letter K in kite or the C in cup. As a final consonant, ka kwai makes a K stop, a dead sound. Start with the head in the middle, draw a line going down, then arch over the top and back down on the right. Fairly simple, right? The names of these letters are ka kuat and ka kon. They look just like the consonants ka kai and ka kwai with an extra indentation drawn on the top of each. Both of these letters would make the same k sound as ka kai and ka kwai if they were used in any words. Ka rakang. Ka rakang makes an initial sound k and a final k stop. Start with a small clockwise head, make a curved line with an indentation on top, then continue with the shape of the letter ma ma. Ka rakang. Ngo ngu. It makes the sound ng just like the ng at the end of the word sing. Start with the head, drop down, then veer up at an angle. Jajan. When jajan is the initial consonant, it makes the sound j, similar to the j in jump. When jajan is the final consonant, its sound changes to become a t-stop. Start with a clockwise head in the middle and make the line go down to the right. Then it hooks back up and curves over to the left. Jajan. Cho xing. Sh. As an initial consonant, and a T-stop as a final consonant. Start with a clockwise head at about mid-height, draw a line down to the corner, then go across and make a loop in the bottom right corner. Then draw a line going up and make the line curve back to the left once it gets above the head. Cho xing. The first consonant in this lesson is cho chang. As the initial sound of a syllable, it makes a sh sound. When it's the final sound of a syllable, cho chang makes a T-stop. Start with a clockwise head, then add a small curve and line going down, similar to a question mark. Then the line goes to the right and back up. When it gets to the top, you add a little tail that sticks out to the upper right. So so, so, so makes an s sound like the S in sun when it's the initial sound of a syllable. And when it's the final sound of a syllable, it also makes a T stop. Yo ying. Yo ying makes the sound of the letter Y as an initial consonant, and as a final consonant, it makes the sound of the letter N. Start with the head, make the shape of go gai, and bend back up, then add a curl under the letter. Do chada and to patak. The word chada means a pointed crown, and the word patak means spear or goat. You can think of these two letters as fancy versions of do dek and to tau. Do chada makes the same letter D sound as do dek, while to patak makes the same cross between a D and T sound as to tau. And all of them makes a T stop when used as a final consonant. Start writing do chada with a counterclockwise head on the bottom, then make the shape of go gai. Extend the line on the right below the head, and make a loop on the left side. Now let's do to patak. Again, Start with a counterclockwise head on the bottom, then make the shape of go gai. Extend the line on the right below the head, then make one bump in the line going to the left before the loop. Tho tan. The word tan means base or platform. Tho tan makes the same initial and final sounds as tho thung. Tho tan. Here is the consonant tho mun tho. As an initial consonant, tomonto usually makes the sound t 
As a final consonant, it makes a T stop. Start with a small clockwise head, then make a curved line with an indentation. Draw a line straight down, then come back up and make a hump going to the right side. Tomonto. The next letter is Taoputao. Let's practice writing Taoputao. Start with a clockwise head and draw the shape of the letter Taotao. Then blend this into the shape of the letter Moma. Here's the letter Nonen. Nonen makes the sound of the letter N when it's an initial or final consonant. Start with the head, make the shape of Gokai, and finish with the loop on the right side with a vertical line. Another middle class consonant is Dodek. Dodek makes the sound D just like the letter D in diamond. We write Dodek with a clockwise head in the center. The line continues to make a point and the line bends around to the right side. It's called Ta Tao. Ta Tao makes as an initial consonant is the, which is between an English D and T. In technical terms, the sound of Ta Tao is an unaspirated T. As a final consonant, it also makes a T stop. Let's write Ta Tao together. A clockwise head down to the left, up to the top, indentation, and down on the right side. Ta Tao, Ta Thung. The word Thung means bag or sack. As an initial consonant, Ta Thung makes the sound T, like the T in top. And as a final consonant, it makes a T stop. Let's write Ta Thung together. Start at the bottom with a clockwise head, then make the shape of Ga Gai. Ta Tha Han. The word Tha Han means soldier. The sound of Ta Tha Han when it's an initial letter is T, like the T in the word top. When it's the final consonant in a syllable, Ta Tha Han makes a T stop. Start with the head, then draw a line going down. Now make an arch going to the right. Ta Tha Han. Ta Thong. Ta Thong makes an aspirated T sound like the T in tennis. As a final consonant, Ta Thong makes a T stop. Start with a short vertical line on the left side. Then it turns to make an L shape, and the top part is drawn like the shape of Ra Rua. The next consonant is Na Nu. It makes a sound M mm, just like the letter N. The head is drawn clockwise, and the loop is in the lower right corner. Ba Bai Mai. Bai Mai means leaf. As the initial consonant of a syllable, Ba Bai Mai makes a sound B like the B in bucket. Start with a clockwise head and then add three straight lines. That's it. Pa pla. Pa pla as an initial consonant is P, which is in the middle between a regular English B and P. We can also call this an unaspirated P. As a final consonant, pa pla makes a P stop. It's very easy. Start at the head and then draw three straight lines. Pa pla. Here are Pung and Fa Fa. Pung make an initial sound p, like the P in pig. And Fa Fa make the sound f, like the F in fan. All four letters make a P stop as a final consonant. Pung. And then Fa Fa. Pan. The word Pan means a type of brown tray that is used for making offerings. The sound of pa pan as the initial consonant of a syllable is p, like the p in panda. You should feel air coming out of your mouth when you make this sound. As a final consonant, pa pan makes a date sound as a p stop by closing your lips. Down, up, down, up. Pa pan. See, it's easy. The next letter looks almost the same. This is fa fan. The sound of fa fan as an initial consonant of a syllable is f, like the f in family. But as a final consonant, fa fan also makes a date p stop sound. Start with the head, go down, up, down, up, and extend the last line higher. Here's the letter pa sam pao. Pa sam pao makes the sound p, like the p in pink. As a final consonant, pa sam pao makes a p stop. Start with the head at the bottom. Then make the shape of gokai. Mama, that makes a sound m, mm, just like the letter m. Start with the head, go down and make a loop, go to the right, and then back up. 
The next consonant you'll learn is your yak. As the initial sound of a syllable, it makes the sound y, just like the letter y in yes. The hate goes counterclockwise. We make two bumps and then come back to the top at a right angle. Ra rua, ra rua as an initial consonant is r, like the double r in burrito when spoken by a native Spanish speaker. When ra rua is the final consonant in a syllable, it makes the sound m. Mm. Start with the hate at the bottom, curve up to the left, and hook back to the right. Ra rua. It's called la ling. La ling as an initial consonant is l, like the l in little. When it's the final consonant in a syllable, la ling also makes an m sound. Start with the h, a small curve to the right, and a larger curve to the left. La ling. This one is called wa wan. It makes the sound w, just like the w in water. But when it is the final consonant in a syllable, it blends with the vowel to add a slight o sound. Start with the h at the bottom and curl to the left. สอสาลาสอฤาษีแอนสอเสือ As an initial consonant, they make the sound of the letter s, and as final consonants, they make a t stop. Here is สอสาลา Now สอฤาษี And last, we have สอเสือ This is the letter h o h e e h o h e e makes the sound h as an initial consonant, like the h in hello. It isn't used as a final consonant. Start with the head, go down, up diagonally, make a loop, and down. h o h e e l a j u l a l a j u l a makes the sound of the letter l, just like l a l i n g and it would make the sound of the letter n as a final consonant. Start with the head, make the shape of the letter p a p a n and add a loop at the end. l a d u l a This is the letter o a n g but it has no sound as the initial consonant of a syllable. We only use it to start a syllable when we need to have a vowel for the initial sound. o a n g is a dummy consonant that can just be used as a placeholder to give an initial vowel a place to go. We start with a counterclockwise h and just continue into a counterclockwise k o a n g There is a short version of s a r a o called. s a r a o s a r a o is written with s a r a e in front of the consonant. Then it has s a r a a and s a r a a after the consonant. h o n o k u k Do you know which animal is named after? n o k u k is Thai for owl. h o n o k u k makes a h sound just like the h in hoot. Let's practice writing h o n o k u k together. Start with the head, curl around to the top, and add a loop. h o n o k u k Mm-hmm.